Hello everyone, still no word on what's going on with the guild yet, so hopefully we see this update soon. But with the cave hunting event going on, a lot of people were asking themselves, Selena or Zeg Rocco? And I will say, both of these heroes are incredibly strong and good choices to pick, but you can sometimes only pick one or the other, so who do you go for? Now, I did decide to go in and show you some footage here on Chapter 21. Normally, I'm playing with 15, 16 star heroes, and we're dropping them out for 8 star heroes. So as you can imagine, these heroes did not last too long at all, but luckily for us, Zeg Rocco is going to continuously revive through the game. So if you are looking to see who's standing at the end, well, Zeg Rocco just managed to revive himself seconds before I beat this stage. Now I kind of see these in two different situations that you should decide what you're going to pick from one of these heroes. And Zeg Rocco, obviously we've all seen it before, Cave of Abyss, Blighter Zoltan, He's an incredible beast for stunning those two other little minions that go along with the main boss there, and it really helps out with scoring those big points. And Selena, on the other hand, with reviving dead heroes, she's only going to revive one when they die, and that's going to be a max of one throughout the game, but when she does get her engraving and she does end up dying, she'll then go and revive a second hero. So Selena does have some pretty decent skills in her skill set, you know, going and healing two allies at a low HP, removing all the debuffs from them, throwing a shield on. I mean, that's a pretty solid active skill right there. And the active skills, we at least see those about one every other turn. Now you throw a Dex and a Lulu out there to pair up. This could be something that's popping every single time and make this pretty dangerous. Not to mention going and increasing the speed of all allies by 20. You ever go up against an enemy milia and they just get their shot out first, drop one of your damage dealers, and you're like, oh man, why did they get to go first? Well, something like having that extra speed can really make that split second decision of who's going to take the win. To be honest with you though, if we are comparing skill sets of Selena versus Zeg Rocco, I think Zeg Rocco is definitely better with what I'm seeing for the stats. So the stun can be pretty powerful there, especially with all the adjacent ally buffs that are inside the game. Almon with his heals, Milia with the crit, Dex with giving his attack buff. The fact that we have those, if you land it in the right spot, you can stun a majority of the heroes inside the game. Zach Rocco even has an adjacent stat himself of at the beginning first five rounds. You're going to increase the lifesteal of all your heroes. That's going to be every time you do damage, you're going to be just kind of taking some of that damage and turn it into health for yourself. But I think what I like best about Zach Rocco is going to be the engraving. Every time you do revive, you're going to get a stack of attack, defense, and even lifesteal. This is going to stack up to three times when you finally max it out, but this is something that makes him incredibly powerful. So who am I going to go for? Well, actually, on my free-to-play one, I'm going to be pushing it into Zag Rocco. And my free-to-play one, I really want to invest in Selena. You might be saying to yourself, oh, geez, 11 stars. It's going to take forever to get there. Well, the other thing is, if you're not grabbing them now and grabbing them every time you see them, by the time you get your other heroes at 20 stars, this one's still only going to be sitting at 5 or 6 stars. So grab them while you can, in my opinion. It's the way to go, and that's the route I'm going with it. Now, if you guys want to know how I'm doing on my free-to-play account versus my pay-to-win account, I'll post both the videos right up over here. Thanks for watching, and remember, I pick my butt.